All right, so I'm gonna open up and disassemble this 13 inch MacBook Air model A1466 uh, 2017. So you're gonna need a pentalobe um, P5 or 1.2, and we're just gonna remove all the screws from the bottom. You do wanna keep these screws in order. They are different size, shapes, and lengths and it's uh, always a good idea to put back the same screw where you got it from. So the way I do that is I take it out um, in this rectangular pattern and I just put that same pattern um, with the screws on my desk. All right, so just remove all these screws. The back two middle ones are the longest, but again, e even if they look the same, it's always a good idea to put back the screws exactly where you got them from. All right. So four along the hinge back, two on the sides, and then four along the front. Okay. All right. For that, you just go on the back here, get your fingers in, and then you can pull the cover up. Normally it's easy to pull this cover up, but the customer spilled liquid in here, so it looks like this, the liquid made the cover stuck here. But you should be able to just pull this up, okay? This is, wow, there must be a lot of liquid in here. They said they spilled this like a year ago. Oh man. Oh jeez, it's like leaving sticky goop everywhere. So, I don't know if you can see, it actually even pulled up Oh, it's pulling up the speaker in there. There you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get it off. This is really weird, okay. Come on, there we go. So the battery looks completely destroyed. They said it still turns on. Um, I am going to have to contact them and let them know that this entire thing is gonna need to be cleaned out. It looks really bad. This looks pretty bad as well there's some green stuff here and then the battery has liquid all over it and this is a really old spill so it's actually like already dried up but uh it it looks pretty bad there's stuff all over here and this looks pretty bad so this kind of thing um i don't know if i'm gonna actually finish the video here uh i might have to do a recap after I'm gonna see what the customer wants me to do they said it turns on as long as it's plugged in um, usually I won't recommend turning it on uh, the trackpad seems like it's stuck it doesn't work right um, I mean it'll probably be fixable but I don't know if it will make sense to fix it there's so many things messed up with it so let me try plugging this in and then see what happens. So let's see here. So he told me that it does turn on while it's plugged in. So since he already plugged it in, then I will risk it. Normally I wouldn't risk turning on a computer after it's been spilled on, but I wanna make sure what he says is true. Nothing's happening. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he said it turns on, but it's not doing anything. The charge light's on, but the computer doesn't turn on. So, I don't know. I, I don't see it turning on like he said. Anyways, so I'm going to contact them. It looks really bad. Um, maybe something got unplugged. I don't know. But, yeah. I don't know if the liquid... No, this part's not even connected, so it shouldn't be an issue. And then the only thing that got lifted up was the speaker. So nothing's happening. I'm going to see if a SMC reset does anything. So control option shift on this side and then I'll push the power button. It does detect this turned green. So it's not completely dead, but yeah, no, it's not turning on. All right. So anyways, for this, I'm probably going to just leave it as is. Um, I've opened up a bunch of MacBook Air, so if you do want to see a MacBook Air disassembly video, I got a lot of those. Um, I believe that probably 2012 all the way to 2017 models are all the same. So, yeah, anyways, that's just a quick video um, showing 
what this liquid spill looks like inside. Usually if you get liquid sp spills, you want to take it completely apart and dry it all up before you even try plugging it in. Disconnect the battery as soon as possible. Um, but anyways, there's the SSD there, of course the speakers, LCD, LVDS connector, wireless card, and then you got the fan underneath this connector here for the charge port board. This board is replaceable separately, but this is a lot of liquid, so I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna contact the customer and see what they want to do. All right. So, anyways, hopefully this video was useful. At least, if not in the video itself, maybe it'll help you find my other video, where other videos where I take apart these MacBook Airs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.